Today we got a look at what to expect as Macon welcomes a new mayor for the first time in 13 years. Lester Miller introduced 30 community leaders who make up his transition team. Ashlyn Webb was there as he discussed his plans for Macon's future. This team will work over the next two months to create a plan and vision for the new administration. Mayor-elect Lester Miller says he selected people for this team to reflect the county's diversity. These people are people who live in your community that are your voice, that are going to speak for you. But each of them were selected because they bring a very unique perspective to Macon Bibb County. They bring a very unique perspective that I can provide to the table to hear your voices. Miller says he and his team will focus on five specific areas, beginning with education. In order to make Macon the best place in Georgia to do business, our local government must work with our school system. So our students are being prepared for the 21st century jobs. He says the committee will brainstorm ideas to close the gap between the school system and jobs of the future. Miller is also forming a committee for public safety. To focus on how we can incre increase the officers that we have, how we can do a better job of working with what we have financially. He says he hopes to fund a new pay scale and put more deputies on the street. <laughs> then there's economic development, something Miller discussed with Governor Kemp on Wednesday. And I'm not trying to slant anyone, but the general feel from um, from the governor's office and the economic team that we dealt with is there hasn't been a lot of communication um, between Bibb County as a whole and the state of Atlanta. And they feel like that maybe we missed out on some opportunities um, for development, for, for some money, for some grants. Going forward, Miller says he plans to work with the governor to improve the relationship and keep Macon in the conversation. Miller also wants to step up tourism and recreation, saying it would bring dollars back to the county. When I think about tourism, I think about recreation. I don't just think about coming to a museum. I think about passing through Bibb County and getting off on the exit that looks like trash. I think about riding down the right of ways to Bibb County and see grass that's overgrown. To some people that may not mean a lot. To me that tells me everything I need to know about that community. When I travel on vacation and I get off the exit, if it looks like that, guess what I do? I get back on and I keep going. The fifth committee Miller has started focuses on diversity, inclusion, and equity. Miller says one of his number one priorities is bringing people in Macon together. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Miller's team is also asking for input from anyone who lives in Macon Bibb County to help with the transition. They have a survey posted on their website. Also on that site, bios of each member of the transition team. The link to that website is posted in our story on 13WMAZ.com.